Well, here on Saturday morning in the Western Pacific, as the sun comes up, visible satellite imagery showing the strongest storm on the planet in all of 2022. That is Super Typhoon Namadol, also known as Josie, in the Philippines. This storm rapidly intensified over the last 12 hours, and now uh, a Category 5 equivalent. Winds estimated, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, to be about 135 knots sustained. They still expect more intensification, up to about 140 knots out of this storm system as it passes just north of uh, the Daito Islands, now moving off towards the Amami Island inspired of Kagoshima Prefecture there in southwestern Japan. This is the latest forecast track from JTWC. The key thing I want you to note with this, it's not so much, you know, the center of the storm. Yeah, look at that, 135, gusting 165 knots. They expected to get to about 140, 170. I mean, that's some full-on Cat 5. But uh, take a look at the wind fields. I mean, even uh, as far as ways Oak Nail Honto, uh, they're still going to be looking at tropical storm strength conditions, even uh, there in southern areas of uh, the Korean Peninsula, all the way out towards Busan as well. But it's really the inner core of this storm. Uh, the Imami Islands, then eventually over towards Kagoshima City, uh, Sasebo. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of military friends there in Sasebo, Nagasaki, Kumamoto, uh, all those areas in southwestern areas of Kyushu taking the brunt of this storm. So uh, do Doing this a little bit different, we're going to take a look at the hour-by-hour -hour future cast with the HWRF model here. And just showing as the storm moves towards the north and west, passing just near the Mami Islands, pressure down to 920 hectopascals at that time, by the way. And then eventually steering towards the north, there is uh, Kakushima right here getting the uh, outer eye wall, likely, as this passes by. with still pressure around 920 before this moves off there uh, towards Sasebo, about where my mouse is. Nagasaki's in there. Kumamoto's over here. I mean, you got that tight pressure gradient in the northern periphery based on this particular model. That's where you would have those highest of the winds uh, up and over, you know, 100 and uh 30 135 not sustained maybe not at this point but at least gusts could be quite that high enough to, to cause very serious damage here but you know it's not only the wind but the rainfall i mean look at these totals uh over the course of the next 96 hours uh, indicating upwards of five six some areas uh jma is forecasting upwards of 800 millimeters of precipitation and it's not only there in kyushu but take a look over towards shikoku uh if we extend back door towards western honshu just outside of hiroshima three to four hundred millimeters remember uh you know, Kumamoto is, I mean, not Kumamoto, Kyushu even, Kumamoto for that matter, uh, is landslide prone. It's volcanic. Western Honshu, remember back a couple years ago, Hiroshima had a very similar setup with some training and uh, very serious landslides took place there as well. So, you know, uh, the wind in the inner core of this storm system is no laughing matter. The rainfall that is in the forecast with this storm is just as serious, if not more serious to be quite honest with you because that's going to have a, a, a bigger impact there for them towards the north and uh, for the Imami Islands uh, it, it truly you know the islands there are built for this uh, as far as these high winds are concerned I mean we've had back-to-back -back storm systems here in the last few weeks so it's no surprise you know that you're getting a storm out there but that's amount of rainfall in the western areas of uh, mainland Japan over towards Kyushu and Ohonshu uh, definitely is enough to cause some major issues yeah, I mean, I already put two updates out on this storm earlier today. One uh, talking about this, also another one talking about the the Philippines. Uh, but uh, right now, I mean, just based on the strength of it, how much has exploded, it's the strongest storm on Earth all of 2022. I wanted to put out one more quick update. Uh, here for you guys, not in front of the green screen, just giving you uh, the latest information on this absolutely exploding in intensity uh, storm system uh, just towards the east of uh, Okinawa and east of uh, Mami uh, Jima there in the southern Japan. Boy, whew, just a beast of a storm. Anyways, uh, hit the like, subscribe on all that stuff if you guys want more of these updates, of course. But uh, uh, this is one of those ones. Uh, I think the number one thing is if you know anybody out here, or if you are in southern Kyushu, uh, the southern Japanese islands, uh, maybe uh, take this very serious. That's the advice I got for you. If you know anybody, make sure that they know that this is not just another little rainstorm. It definitely is going to have some uh, potent impacts as we head through this week and, and into the early part of this upcoming week. As always, stay safe out there, friends.